is a very special time of the year. Not only is it the holiday season, but it's also the season where we advance our Navy's newest petty officers, and some, some petty officers are able to select to the next pay grade. So this is always a very exciting year for us, and uh, normally right around the time of um, the Thanksgiving, long Thanksgiving weekend, those advancement results come out. So I know that there's probably, uh, hopefully, a lot of listeners out there that are anxiously awaiting those advancement results and are getting pretty excited about learning uh, whether or not they're going to be selected for the next pay grade. You know, we want to make sure that um, that for each person that's selected for the next pay grade, that they complete the appropriate leadership selectee course. So that would be just your, your standard petty officer selectee course, your second class uh, petty officer selectee course, or your first class petty officer selectee course. And this is a very important step uh, in your leadership process. Uh, particularly, I would say, I, I put the most emphasis probably on that third class petty officer leadership course because that is really their first opportunity to get indoctrinated uh, with some additional leadership skills. So it's very important that commands take the time to properly administer this course. It's three days. Uh, I, have, I have seen commands try to do this course in two days, but if you want to get the most bang for your buck out of this course, out of any of the three courses I just talked about, you have to take the full complete days. You know, and I'd encourage that the chief's masses out there get actively involved in this. You know, one of MCPON's developing leaders, um, developing leaders is what we talk about in the leadership mess a lot, and we control what we own. You know, as senior enlisted, we own enlisted leadership. You know, so we have a responsibility to ensure this for this. We have a responsibility to ensure the success of our Navy, and we do that by developing these young petty officers. Because one day, petty officer Ortega, you know what? You're going to relieve me, because Master Chief Bedard can't stay around forever. The Master Bidar said that the results coming out, and I'm sure a lot of sailors are anxious to, to get their result. I'm sure there's going to be some sleepless night. I know I did. I had some sleepless night for, before the result came out. So by the time we get our result, I'm sh sure our, everybody will be looking at their profile sheets. Hopefully, they do. Okay? And we, we need to understand what uh, items are being considered in our advancement. So we need to understand how the final multiple score is being being done or being scored. So the factors for for advancement is the mainly is the performance mark average. It takes a lot from the, the, the multiple score. For E4 and E5 it takes about 36 percent of our points. So that's 64 points total. Uh, for E6 it takes 50 percent of our score. And for E7 exam, it takes 60% of our score. So, as you can see, the higher the pay grade, the higher the emphasis on the, the PMA, which is how we perform in our command. So then that's, a, that's one of the big thing. And that's really calling for sustained superior performance. From the beginning, from the get-go, from boot camp to up to your retirement, you should be striving for that. And because and that, that will affect your advancement. And then the standard score, which is the score on the test. I think so many times sailors miss how important that is. You know, normally what a sailor does who doesn't make rate uh, the first time or second time is they use that profile sheet as your sole source, you know, of determining whether or not they should study a certain topic or not. They look at that profile sheet and they look at it and say, oh, look, I scored in a 90 percentile uh, in administration. So I must be pretty good at that. So they just stop. They just stop studying that. You know, I always tell sailors. You know, in addition to just starting early, you know what? Use that bibliography for advancement. You know what? And if you don't know where to get it, you can talk to two. You can talk to one person, your command career counselor, who's sitting right next to me, or you can just simply log on to NKO. You know, NKO has all that information. They have the latest bibliographies on there. And please start early. Don't wait for things to happen to you, make them happen for you.